It's who I am. C'est qui je suis. Subject is respect. Does anybody have anything they want to say? Since my operation, every day a little more I'm discovering how people don't even know me, judge me. As soon as I go out, I can see by their look if they doubt. Just this last week, because I, I invited the group, I got a letter slipped under my door. And to cut it short, they accused me of letting in a group of sex workers in our building. Excuse me. Are you French? French Canadian. Huh? Do you need any help? Yeah, I'm looking for this. I refuse to let others ruin my self-respect or my happiness. We really have to be strong. Spending six hours on the bus. That's a bad time. Bad time, you understand? Are you happy to see me? Of course. But it's not the right moment. You will have to wait. And this is a YMCA on the right, two blocks away on 135th Street. Bonjour, vous êtes bien chez Liliane, Michel et Pierre Douvergne. Merci de nous laisser un message. Oui, allô Liliane C'est moi. Tu sais où il est ton fils Il a débarqué ici tout à l'heure. C'est beaucoup trop tôt. Most New Yorkers are very politically correct, uh, but they're very curious. They always want to know if they can.
catch you in the wrong time. They will ask you question and they trying to waiting you up and they I feel like they are facing police or something. They will ask me something like um, is it true that you are a woman in a man's body and when did you decide to become a girl? Do you have sex life? And all kind of questions that to me it's really offensive. Work? Sure, sure, and it's must. You look different. What do you expect, Pierre? I don't know. Even your voice is really different. I know, it's the hormones and all that. Okay. What should I call you now? What do you think? I'm still your father and I. So you, you came to see the monster, right? Well, what do you think? I can't take care of you, so... You're gonna take this. Enjoy your time, have fun. Go around Times Square, have a nice day in the city. But please go back to Montreal tonight, okay? Even yesterday, a guy asked me, really, really stupid, it's, um, he asked me like if that's real hair, and I was, I was, I, I just couldn't answer the question, I thought it was really stupid. Ha! Ah, enfin, t'as le courage de décrocher. Je sais que t'allais le voir. J'avais été bien clair là-dessus, tu devais t'inscrire à ta maudite école. Visiblement, t'as aucun respect pour moi. T'es bien comme ton père, je suis même pas surprise que t'aies choisi son camp. Il a fait son crise de choix. Il est sorti de nos vies, on n'existe plus pour lui. Attends, maman, c'est quand même mon père, hein? Si c'est ton père, il peut bien payer pour tes frais. I was on the subway with three other transgender girls, you know, and they were just laughing and being silly. And behind us, there were three big black guys, you know, like ghetto-ass types. And they started checking us out, and they started screaming at us, you know, you motherfuckers are dudes. You dudes. And I was so scared that I just, I, I wanted to disappear, really. I need to talk to each other. Come. Would you please stop following me around? Mard, I came for you, Papa. You've been running away from us for six months. Maman, Maman's gone nuts. I'm not going anywhere until you talk to me, right? You see, I'm doing very well. I'm living the life I chose to live. Living professionally, it's a great success. I've been employee of the month to month in a row. 
So, you see, there's nothing to worry about. What are you doing tonight? I'm busy. You know what day it is? It's Father Day. Can you move your ear, employee of the month? Oh, Consuelo, por favor, déjame un momentito. So, so let's sit together tonight. Please. I'm buying. You're a stubborn bastard. <laughs> like father, like son. The worst part about it is that this tiny voice in my head was telling me, you know what, maybe if you had been a little more quiet, or maybe if you had been just a little, little, little more discreet, then they would have let us go, you know, they wouldn't have bothered us. But the truth is, they're the ones who are in the wrong. You know, I was, I was just being me. That's for us. Also for us. That's for you. that got me into Julian's school. Julian's school? Yeah. Oh, that's a great school. It's the best. I'm admitted to the piano section. Wow. It's incredible. I have it here. three years normally and I have until fall to find an apartment so it would really really help if you could like put me out a few days just just the time for the school to find me a place always knew you're gonna make it <laughs> even when you were a little kid with your little keyboard Okay, I understand it's not easy for you and probably difficult. I get it even more because it's not easy for me either. How, how, how come? E? Of course I'm happy about the reassignment. But I also have to accept, even if I consider myself to be a woman, whether I like it or not, I will stand out. Look at me. There are always going to be people questioning my femininity.
You called your mom, right? How's she doing? Um, she's still really angry. It's a huge mess for her since she left home. Well, I think... I think that she's happy that we stay in touch. Hmm. Did you really need to leave the country? Do you think your mother, your sister, your grandparents would have taken it? If I keep taking all this uh, personal, how am I going to live? This is, this is my life. I have to keep going. I cannot let people um, putting me down. So I think I'm going to try not to be too sensitive. How is your apartment hunting going? Oh, maybe I've got a button better in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, it's open day at school. I'll go after. Can parents come? Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Um, I guess it's open to everybody. It's pity that it's midweek. I didn't work all the time. Mm. At a Chinese store, 
I went inside and asked the guy if I could have a discount, you know, and he said, no, no, we don't give discounts. I said, well, yeah, you do. You remember me, you know, when I was a boy. He said, oh my God, you're sick. If you were my son, I would kill you. What time is your reception at Julian? Um... Hey, I've managed to get my afternoon off. Oh. It's great, huh? Yeah, great. Um... Can I join you there? Um, I, I, I have to go. I, I'll, I'll call you, right? Yeah, it's me, Dad. Well, I'm still waiting to know where I meet you. Just give me a call, okay? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, no news from you. I don't know what time, I don't know where I'm supposed to join you. <gasps> Pierre, Pierre, what are you doing? Please. I'm coming. My phone number? Listen, Papa, you didn't need to come. What's the problem, Pierre? Are you ashamed of me? No, but it's my school. There are people who know me here. No, oh, there are people who know you here. Yes? You think it's easy? Hmm? Huh? Have you thought about me? Yes, I have. Some people don't want to shake my hand because I make them sick. And their parents freeze when I go near their kids. And I get treated as if I was some kind of pervert. You want to know what hurts the most, Pierre? Mm. You're acting as if they were right. No, no, you just don't get it. You, you get to realize that it's not normal. Right? I, I've seen the letters. You, you and your girlfriends, you're not discreet. You shouldn't be surprised when you called Whores! You're getting on my nerves! What if you were a prostitute? We'd still be respectable, you see? You have to understand for the first time of my life, I feel useful. There are all these girls counting on me. You feel useful? Yes. Is that why you turn your back on us? You destroyed mum's life for lipstick, you selfish bastard? It's my life. It's not hers and it's not yours either, Pierre. I'm sorry. I went crazy. If, if I could have smashed his head in, I would have. I would have killed him. Grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference.